Um, know that the names of the files, um, so I didn't actually give that all a name. Um, generally, that sort of resource file, we would split up into several files. Um, now the naming of those is to some extent conventional, to, to some extent not. Everyone has uh, their preferences. This is one common way of, of calling them. Um, so optionally, uh, at the root level, uh, the top level, you might specify your provider or providers. You might have multiple providers uh, in a providers.tf. Some people thought of that in their main.tf. And this main.tf, some people also call it resources.tf. The important thing is you have your style and be consistent in your style. Okay. So apart from the providers, typically we have a main or a resources file. Uh, outputs and variables. So we've seen variables already where we can obviously keep a separate definition of the variables to use for our resources. And we'll see later uh, the outputs file, how we can use that uh, at the end of a run to actually output specific uh, information about the resources we've created. Okay. We won't go into modules today, but know that uh, yeah, good convention as well. If you define any modules locally, then you would put them in a subdirectory called modules.